Here's little Puffle. Hello, Puffle. No cussaping. No, 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 no. You're dangerous. Hi, viewers on YouTube and on the web. This is a video I should have made yesterday, 1st of July 2021. Um, as I'm uh, 14 years on YouTube. Originally, I uh, set up this uh, channel, Rodalco2007, for sharing uh, meters, electric meters, kilowatt hour meters, clocks, all that type of stuff. And it, over the years, has got a bit uh, diverted into uh, blowing stuff up batteries, old TVs, faulty appliances, etc. And um, street lights is another hobby of mine lately, so I've been putting a bit of time and oh yeah, wasps, we had a few other things. They came came along and so I, uh, yeah, I've been a bit slack lately, I do admit that, so I'm sorry about that. Just show my face, that's me. Yeah, sorry, I've been a bit slack. I'm really glad Photonic is back, Photonic Induction is back, that is fantastic. He is awesome, he is the top man on YouTube with uh, Egg Day pushing things to the extreme the 5000 ampere fuse if you haven't seen the video watch his video also watch the one with the mercury rectifier he put on lately bloody brilliant as i said before this uh, is a bit better metering video on blurb this is quite a unique meter i got from england uk it measures in uh, watt hours that's a two watt hour that's a 10 watt hour 100 watt hour kilowatts tens and, and it's 5 ampere rated meter, I'm putting it about 9 ampere, 2400 revolutions per kilowatt hour, it's flying over. It's adjacent to the tri-vector meter, I'll relocate the camera. This tri-vector meter is an... Uh, I really should wipe the window a bit. A bit dusty. Active reactive meter. Kilowatt hours, that's a decimal. Um, got an MDI maximum demand pointer. You see a little pointer here. That's a riser. Every 30 minutes it resets and the needle gets pushed to the highest position. So this measures a kilowatt hours, but the meter got a reactive dial on it as well. And I'll get the camera in position for that. Here's a reactive dial, so that measures the virus or kilovolt KVARH reactive power. So. It's also a decimal, one, two, three, four, five, so that's your units. Multiplier of 40, that means it has been, this meter in the past has been run from current transformers or CTs, and they would have been set on the 200 to 5 ampere tapping. So 200 ampere to the main cable, gives 5 ampere to the meter, and it dials uh, the active kilowatt hours or reactive. But there is more on this particular meter, and there is other tri-vector uh, videos I got on my channel. Uh, as I said, we had kilowatt hours, reactive, this is KVA. Mechanically, this meter managed to calculate out the highest of the two. So when one meter slows down, the other meter increases in speed, and it gets accumulated on this particular dial. And I'll also show you the nameplate. Tri vector, tra vector, three vector directions, kilowatt ampere hours, nameplate, meter was rated for five ampere. The weather today is awesome and uh, the sun is here. I see a helicopter, come on, I'll get you the helicopter in the video quickly. Where's the bloody thing? I can't see it. Flying there somewhere. All good. There's uh, nameplate number three, that's the sign. Oh, yeah, the VAR meter side of the meter. Now, I don't want to waffle too much, but this particular meter is going to Switzerland. Um, I got it given to me many years ago. I've got a collector in Switzerland who wants this meter, so. The hardest part is this thing is about 20 kg to get these flipping sinks uh, ship, shipped overseas for a reasonable cost. So, that's hopefully going to happen in the next uh, weeks or so. And here we've got a meter, single phase type CF6 LG or Lenser gear, 20 ampere base load, long range, 50 hertz, 230 volts. The meter constant is 300 revolutions per kilowatt hour, so that's running relatively slow. 
compared with the first meter I showed, that meter runs eight times slower. Although the gearing in the dial is different, so it will make up for that. And give you the correct readings. So, yeah, this is that cluster. My meter move because I nearly tripped over the extension lead. Got a couple of dodgy plugs here, and I'm gonna show a reactive reading. Uh, I'm gonna hook one or two street lights onto it, which have a lower power factor, and uh, a bit of luck, you're gonna see some uh, activity on the active. So, I'll let this trickle over for a few more minutes, and I'll get a uh, distribution board and I'll put some. Reactive. So this meter is uh, resistive load heating. That runs faster in relation to that one. Put the other load on there. That will slow down. That will go in a bit faster. Bear in mind the load will be a lot less. I'm gonna plug in the straight light. 250 watts sodium. High pressure sodium. That should help you come on. Let's see what the meter is gonna reveal. As you can see, the load is a lot less. Uh, not sure if you can see, but this meter has speed up a lot in speed. There's a lighter load, reactive meter or the VAR meter. It's gonna work faster. A bit more closer up here. Look at this meter. I had two kilowatt load on before. It was running almost creeping, and now we got a one kilowatt load on here. Uh, sorry, 250 watt load, and it's taking off because we got a low power factor. And I'll show you the kilowatts aside as well again, and you'll see that it's a lot slower. Not sure if you can see the dial, I'll wait till this mark comes past, and then, uh, yeah, there we go. Sodium lamp, ground the meters, there we go. I plug another one in, and I'll see how it's gonna perform. It's gonna connect us to this B. Two, 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 two. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it works. Don't know if it works. Yeah, it's working. That's very cool. It works. Now I got the extra load on, and uh, the dials appear to be working quite happily. Well, I'm going to cut this video off, I don't want to make it too long for you all. Uh, this is uh, going fine. 14 years. Um, I'll, I'll we'll do some stuff, uh, blow some crap up, I need to do that. But we're busy with work and I, I admit I spent too much time in the swimming pool. Uh, we got a really good pool com complex called Westwave and they have spa, sauna, steam room. Although the last two are in being upgraded, but that's quite very nice. So there we go, enjoy and uh, please put comments in if you're not sure how these devices work. All the best, cheers. There are little eyelashes or puffle, I call her sometimes. She is a fantastic cat. Ali, puss. You're beautiful. Few pieces of art this meter.
is an electronic uh, pickup, a photo transistor for pulses. And they're all working. One uh, GoFlight 600 and two Sylvania SB Quad 2s. Pulling a bit of reactive there, which is nice. These are the B2222 lamps. Tiny gateway, 100 VA ballast, and underneath is the capacitor and the igniter. Same on this other one. Right there underneath, and then you got the ballast there and here, the lamp. They're going nicely.